Hey, it's me again. Um, one thing I didn't mention on the video I just did um, is the Navy, United States Navy, is now bragging about the all-gay helo crew that they have. I mean... <laughs> Four crew members, all gay. Okay. So what? All this kind of thing does is tempts countries like China and Russia to invade us. Um, maybe that's maybe that's why they're doing it. Maybe that's on purpose. Uh, the the most un-American pieces of shit that have ever worn a uniform or held an office are leading parts of our military and the entire government right now. Uh, what was it I just, I heard is, uh, the difference between humans and animals is Animals would never allow the dumbest in the herd to be the leader. It's pretty accurate. Um, so you got gay sailors. That's not exactly a new thing. But bragging about it and taking pictures about it and doing entire news articles about it and shoving in everybody's faces that's that's kind of new for the military when i joined they still ask you at the recruiting office if you were homosexual and if you were you could not join right or wrong that's how it was um i'm not so i had no problem with the the policy I'm, I'm sure as anything I've, I've served with some uh, gay people I'll guarantee it I just didn't know it um, I don't understand what your sexual orientation has to do with your ability to do a job and therefore sure let gay people in but to make that like I mean they're doing this like a recruiting campaign and they are sacrificing military read readiness for wokeness um, these these individuals may be very good at their job. I don't know. I don't care. But what you do, what you're doing, is making countries like China, especially, who, being a, a communist-controlled regime, they don't have freedom of speech. So all their people are seeing, both military and civilian is what their government wants them to see. And when you start showing them and things like this, it makes them think how weak we are. And by doing that, you're um, almost giving them, you're giving them the, the, justification they need to to invade us or attack us in some manner makes us look like a paper tiger and that's how wars start so like I said maybe that maybe that is the agenda anyway you know it's a big puzzle and all the pieces are starting to come together. The Deagle Report, 
you know, the one that uh, says in 2025 we're only going to have 100 million people in the United States when we have, you know, um, three and a half times that now. So, makes you wonder what the next few years holds. So, we'll see. Anyway, that's all I got. Till next time, I'm out Victoria Curum. Stay safe out there.